Hey, what's going on? I just completed my first week of my web development immersive at General Assembly in San Francisco. Uh, it was an interesting experience. It was a uh, very fast-paced environment, but I'm really happy with the way the week went. And I figured I'd give you a recap at the end of each week so that anyone in the future, uh, if you're looking to do this, you can kind of get an idea of the pace and uh, maybe some insight and more um, of kind of a behind the scenes so that you can see what we do and if you wanted to make that jump um, it'll help you out. Um, so I'll first begin with our daily schedule. We begin right around 9.15 in the morning with a warm-up exercise to kind of get our brains flowing in the morning. That'll last about 45 minutes. Uh, we will have the ability to talk around with our groups. Uh, we have about groups of five or six and we'll go over these problems. These are logic solving problems. Um, they're, they're very difficult. Um, most of the time, I feel like I'm not able to fully complete it in the time. Um, however, they are really good to get the day going as well as um, some insight into what interview questions will look like uh, for a couple months later when we will be going through the technical aspect of our interviews. So that'll end about 10. We'll take a little break and then we'll go into the morning lecture which is taught by one of our instructors. Uh, that'll last for an hour and a half. Following that, um, we'll have homework review for about 30 minutes, 30-45 minutes with the TAs, uh, the teaching assistants. And then following that, we will have lunch for an hour. When we return from lunch, we'll have a nice little warm-up exercise. This week, week one, we were doing catchphrase uh, for about an hour. So we were going over, uh, we were writing the definitions of technical terms on flashcards and playing the game catchphrase to kind of get us more um, experience with using the vocab of a computer programmer. Following that, we'll take a nice little break and then go into our afternoon lecture, which will be another hour and a half taught by another instructor. That will go until about four. And then beginning at four, we will then go into our group huddles, which is where we get together with the group and an instructor and kind of go over our day. This is a group of about six of us and every day we'll explain what we thought about the day. It could be anything. It could be anything related to computer programming or anything outside. Um, but we usually talk about what we liked about the lectures, if there was something we want changed. Um, and since we're talking with an instructor, we're in our same group, we can have that input um, be received directly. And then if they feel the need to change something up, then they can immediately um, so that's really nice. That'll last about 10 to 15 minutes, and then we'll start working on homework from there. Uh, 4.15 is typically when we begin that assignment. Um, and that'll, that'll last, I've been staying until about 7.30 at night. That's usually when I hit my breaking point of mental exhaustion. And then I'll go to the gym, and then uh, after that I'll spend about another hour, hour 15 at home finishing up. Um, so when I leave at the, during the day, uh, around the 7.15, 7.30, I'll have a pretty good idea of how to complete the homework by the time I get home. So I do a majority of the homework before I uh, leave the actual grounds of General Assembly because we have all the students there as well as evening TAs and I'll get into the uh, actual team in a minute. Um, that's a typical daily schedule. That was all five days of the week and it's looking like it'll be pretty similar for the rest of the week. Uh, this is Saturday, um, so we actually were introduced to our first project. I was just working on it a little bit ago. We are creating tic-tac-toe. They gave us a little template for it, um, but we're mostly messing around with HTML, CSS, and JavaScript for that. Um, some of the topics covered in class this week were the basics of HTML and CSS. We dove a little deeper into those and how they interact with the DOM and how they interact with JavaScript. So that was good. In regards to JavaScript, we went over most of the fundamentals and then just applied it like crazy. <laughs> so that was uh, anywhere from functions, loops, uh, the background of computer languages, um, and all that good stuff. Um, but mostly this week was applying. Uh, we were, even during the lectures, we were given exercises. A lot of the exercises were done with our groups, and we were allowed to talk, o talk it over with the people around us, which was really nice. Uh, one of the awesome things about GA is we have the desks that we have are, uh, they have the ability to be written on by um, markers, like dry erase markers. So it's in a sense like a dry erase board as a table. So when you're dealing with, uh, or when you're talking with your coworkers or co-students, I guess, um, you can write on the desk, which is really nice. You can help put what you're thinking onto the desk and that way you can collaborate with each other. Um, so that's really nice.
In regards to the instructors and support, I thought we were uh, we're really. I thought in regards to the instructors and support of GA for the students is A+. Uh, I was pleasantly surprised. I went into this thinking it would be just one instructor and one TA. Um, however, we have three instructors who are all really good at what they do, as well as two TAs in our actual class all day. Um, the TAs, one of which just graduated from an immersive program, so he went through it, just what we're going through right now, so he's of utmost help, as well as a girl who just graduated from MIT who's interested in teaching in this type of environment. So um, they're of great help. Um, it's nice to have five people around at all times to help with problems or questions. Um, and then at night when the instructors leave, the TAs are still there. However, we actually have some evening TAs that come and help. And it's consistent. So we can kind of build a relationship with them and then we see them every night. And they are, they've been great as well. So. Throughout the whole week, I've been able to talk to all of them and get help from all of the instructors and TAs, and I've been pleasantly surprised, so that was great. Yesterday on Friday, we were introduced to our outcomes team. It's a team dedicated strictly for uh, what happens after graduation, and they kind of dive into uh, what they do. It's a group of three ladies, and they all have different roles in talking to companies, setting up job fairs, uh, helping us with our resume and LinkedIn. We haven't really uh, dove into that stuff yet. That'll take place later in the course, um, since this just is week one. We don't really need to start dealing with LinkedIn just yet. Um, however, it was good to see that they have a whole team dedicated to um, people like me, the, the part of the class, I think it's going to be a majority, that's going to be looking for full-time jobs following the course. Um, just an FYI, some people are looking to do the entrepreneurial route. Uh, they might already have an idea in mind and they're doing the course just to go that route as well as uh, some of the, my co-students are uh, going back to their companies with a new skill set and then some already have jobs lined up or uh, maybe with someone they know. Um, so it won't be the full class just going into the what they consider job, active job seeker. That'll be me uh, as well as a majority but it's good to see that we will have a team helping us and they do have a 90% graduation rate into jobs within 90 days. Um, so that is great, and I'm looking forward to using that to its full potential. As for the homework and projects so far, they've been pretty difficult and time consuming. We have homework every night uh, to ensure that we are applying what we learned in class. Uh, the first night we had to deal with command line, and we had a nice little project and a nice little mystery solving problem, I guess, uh, dealing with the command line, so that was nice. Um, really getting experience and hands-on experience going between directories and making directories and all that good stuff which is something a lot of us didn't have past experience with. Uh, let's see, the, I mentioned a little earlier the first project which is this weekend. I have a feeling that every weekend we're going to have a project with this one being the tic-tac-toe board which is surprisingly much more difficult than I thought. Um, but the homework's been pretty, uh, I think it's a good balance between really difficult and a little too difficult and making us really apply what we've learned. Um, so that it's like constant challenge. It's, there have been many cases where I've needed a little bit of insight from a TA or a co-student who might be a little ahead of me. Um, so I, w I haven't been able to do it all on my own, but I don't really think that's the most important thing with the homework. I think it's just being able to collaborate with your peers. Um, we learned that pair programming is very important in this industry, so that's part of it. And uh, being able to talk through problems with other people and see how they do it see how we do it and, and collaborate. And we have most students stay late till 7, 7.30 or later. So it's a nice group of people to kind of spend your time around while doing the homework. But I've been able to uh, finish most of it, which has been really nice. And uh, another thing is that GA, we don't have graded assignments. So when we turn in homework, we aren't graded on it specifically. Uh, we just uh, are seen as turning it in so that if we are having issues down the road, they can go back and see what we turned in. But they do keep a tab on who's finishing the homework and who is not. <laughs> Since GA is more than just Web Development Immersive, it's pretty cool to interact with other people that are in the, uh, or excuse me, on the campus. So we have a user design immersive going at the same time, as well as another WDI that's seven weeks ahead of us. So we can interact during our breaks as well as other events 
and get to know the other people at GA. But it's a really cool environment because you have all these people essentially going through the same thing that is an immersive program that's very mentally taxing. Um, and you can all get together and I think we'll be dealing with the user design people later on in the course when we collaborate for projects. Um, but I really enjoy that and yesterday we had a happy hour where they actually served beer, free beer, and uh, we could all mingle together and get to know each other seeing as we're probably going to run into each other quite a bit over the next few weeks. Uh, they also have random events throughout the week that are really nice. We'll have speakers that come in randomly. Uh, just the other day we had the co-founder of Thumbtack on campus giving a little talk for free. It was a cool little GA breakfast club is what they called it and he came and spoke and I had no idea who it was and come to find out they had a hundred million dollars of funding uh, recently or within the past year. So very successful people coming and talking. Uh, so that's a nice resource to ha add on to our already immersive program.